Hello everybody once again. So in this video I'm going to be doing another Chrome video since that is a very popular top topic nowadays when it comes to auto hotkeys. I've done some videos in the past which I will link in the description below along with the code that I'm going to be showing you today. So the reason I want to do this video is because I've done a video with uh, Selenium. Unfortunately uh, a lot of people can't get Selenium to work at maybe their job because of admin rights, IT security, that sort of thing. Same with the videos I've done using debug mode um, and the other ones. So this is kind of like a last resort kind of video for Chrome. It's a interesting way to say the least, but it's by far the simplest way. Uh, you don't need to install anything except for auto hotkeys. Uh, you don't need to learn any type of JavaScript to help you or download an extension or have admin rights. So hopefully this at least will solve some people's problems because I know for a lot of us, including me, uh, our jobs can be very limiting on what they allow us to do. So yeah, let's take a look at this code real quick. So the first thing I'm going to do is just a simple run, which is going to open this website in Chrome. And then when I push F2, so here's basically what I'm doing. I'm just using all send commands. So it's going to fill out some data there, and then I'm going to close it with F3. So let's go ahead and launch this program. And I'm going to, ahead, I'm going to go ahead and push F1 to load this website. And this is just a test website for uh, form filling. So it's a perfect example, as you see here. So I don't want to fill out all these fields. Uh, I just kind of picked, uh, you know, about four, uh, about, I don't know, it's like seven fields, I guess. Um, so I'm just going to fill out some of those uh, data points. And then I'm using tab just to move the cursor between uh, each field. Uh, the last field I got, I just have it tab 30 times because I'm skipping a lot of that stuff. And then I'm just going to end the final field here, which is comments. It'll say done, just so we can see that. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead. Now, this is important. You do need to put your cursor in the first field. Uh, unfortunately, there's no other way to really focus on that field except for manually doing it, unless you want to use like mouse move. Uh, but mouse move, just because it works on your computer, doesn't mean the coordinates are going to be the same on somebody else's computer. So it's best, probably, if you're going to be sending this out to a bunch of people, to just have them manually click that first field. So I'm going to go ahead and push F2 here. It's going to go pretty quickly. So filled out all those. And as you see right here, did a bunch of tabbing that 30 there. And it put done here. It's still pretty quick. Uh, you know, this is actually not that bad of a way, but it should definitely be like your last resort, I guess you could say. So now that my cursor is down here, I want to go ahead and have it push this uh, button. For this test website, it's just reset, but on yours, it might be actually like a submit key. So that's what I'm doing here with F3. I'm just tabbing one more time and I'm pushing space, which is just going to mimic pressing that button for me. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, push F3. And as you see, all the data has been cleared out for me. Um, another thing to look at is for, uh, let me go ahead to this website. Oh, there we go. Uh, Chrome keyboard shortcuts. These can help you a lot, kind of like how comms work in Internet Explorer, but in a little bit of a different way. So there's a whole bunch here you can go through for all these different things. Uh, so for example, if you want to minimize uh, the current window it's alt space and then in um, so what you can do is like right here where i have it doing f4 it's going to do send and then that explanation just stands for alt and then it's going to send f4 which for that is going to be close the current window as you see there alt f4 so i'm going to go ahead and push um, f4 and it just closed the window. So you're not going to have as much flexibility as you will with the other ways, but like I said, this might be your only option in the long run. 
Um, you know, there's other stuff out there. I've done videos showing maybe stuff that could be a little bit different than send, uh, control send. Um, I've done a few other videos talking about how to open tabs uh, in Chrome, uh, navigate the tabs by basically, um, you know, searching each title to find the correct tab and then going into it. So definitely check those out. I'll try to link as many of them as I can in the description below, along with the code, obviously, uh, just so you can see it a little bit better. And if you guys find any of these videos helpful, definitely please subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Hit that like button and then that little bell notification just so that you guys know when I'm releasing another video because I'm usually doing about two to three videos every week for you all. And if there's something you want to ask a question about with this code or something else in general, definitely hit up the comments below. I'm happy to help you guys out. And if it's something I definitely think uh, deserves a video, I will be looking to make that in the near future. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.